hello there welcome to this tutorial in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add floors on your structures using Orion so I'm going to create different stories so this is a story building so I'm going to create different stories for it now quickly this is what we have done so far we have added axes we have added columns we have added beams now we are going to add stories so these are the story so please if you've not watched our previous tutorial do well to watch our previous tutorial so that you can follow uh, suit on this video so I'm going to go to stories I'm going to right click on story to highlight and I'm going to left click and I'm going to go down to edit stories so this box here pops up so I have my stories I have the height the level the label and also some other things now each story has a height which is the headroom which is the height of each floor now this is 3000 here so I'm going to change my I'm going to right click on it double click on it and I'm going to make it 3100 uh, 3100 millimeters which is the height that's my story one it needs to take this height and this level is 4000 so I'm going to come now you can see it has taken the height to be 4300 because this my first story bottom level is 1000 so it's adding it to this to become this so this first story bottom level is your DPC from the existing ground what is the height that your DPC is taking so I'm taking 450 for this you can take 500 you can take whatever you want now you can see it has been subtracted it has been added to this which gives me this value so this is the level of my my first story the first level this is what is going to give me now my foundation is I'm taking well I'll leave it at this is 1200 depth of my foundation or you can say okay um, I'm taking uh, maybe 1000 but I'm taking 1200 so now if you come to this particular place assume roof as normal story now if I check this button is going to say the roof mm, might be taken as thus first as a normal story building a normal story so but this I'm not taking it now if you want to check on this is going to be if your roof is going to be concrete but this my roof is not concrete so I'm going to uncheck it now this book will check uh, method to be existing roof no I say okay so I'm fine with this all settings are done for the story so I'm going to click OK now this is affected so now Orion sees every point the story now these is my foundation the story zero zero now if I click on it it comes up now it's a create footing column effective table now you can see nothing is found so I'm going to say okay now it goes let me zoom in a little bit now you can see only columns have been created so this is my foundation but it sees it as a story zero zero so I'm going to click on this plus sign to expand this my properties here so I can see what I'm doing so I'm going to double click on these this is my first floor so I'm going to double click on it now you can see beams are uh, all over the place so I'm going to go to this my story so I'm going to go back to stories I'm going to right click to highlight and I'm going to left click to highlight right click to bring out this particular functions here now I'm going to go to generate now you can select stories and you can also insert stories you can generate you can uh, remove stories and also edit stories now to generate stories means the properties 
that on a particular floor you want to replicate it on, a, on another floor so that means I have to generate it so now assuming that all beams as arranged here is what I'm going to be having on the next floor above this first floor there is no point beginning to create beams and columns anymore so you just go to generate story so I'm going to left click on generate story so you can see what is going to be uh, coming up so we have only one story now you see columns you see walls and you see slab and you see so it's going to generate them so I'm going to turn this off I'm going to go back to story I'm going to right click then I'm going to add go to insert stories say add story now total number of story that you want to add now I have remember I have one story already created so I'm going to just have uh, let me just say two story so I'm going to say he's going to see this as a one story this as a foundation so I'm putting another story to make uh, the roof so to add a story to the top of the building enter a number greater than uh, what you have there so it is zero so I'm going to add just two to read so I'm going to go to OK now you can see what has been created so it's adding a story now so I have story 2 now so I have the foundation the first floor and this is going to be my roof and this is going to be my roof so I'm going to go to read to just expand now you can see nothing is created here if not you will have seen a plus sign here now if I expand this if I double click on this you can see plus sign them is columns are there if I expand you have columns now I'm going to go back to I'm going to just uh, minimize this so I'm going to go back to my stories I want to generate these beams to be repeated on my roof because my roof beams are going to look similar the way it is because I want to replicate it so I'm going to go back to stories I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to left click then I'm going to go to this time I'm going to go to generate I'm going to generate so you see story 2 is there so you have story 1 is there so what the source story what story do you want to generate I want to generate story 1 is already highlighted uh, the targeted story I want to place it on story 2 it's already allowed you have to select it right click to select now what and what do you want to generate on that particular story I want columns I want the beams I want uh, the slabs if you want if you wish now well all of that but I don't have slabs because it is a roof that's why I have not put uh, slabs I've not created as uh, slabs and all of that so that's why I've not created and um, slab strips so if it were to be another story that has uh, a floor on it then I will have done all of that so I'm going to hit and save so this now since it's just a roof beams I want to create I can just go ahead and check all of this I just go ahead and check all of this just uncheck all of it so we have only our walls and our beams to be created because since it's our roof beam then I'm going to go to OK now I'm going to click say process completed see it's good I'm going to say OK so to close it and if I come to this my story tool now it's this little dot here has become uh, it has a cyan color that means the stories has properties now so if I write if I double click on it you can see we have beams we have the beams and we have uh, the grid lines also are there now if you notice the columns did not come because we did not check the columns so you have to go back you have to right click on stories left click generate now I want to generate story one now I want to generate it the sort targeted story story two what do you want no beam 
no column no slab only columns I want to generate I'm going to go okay I'm going to say close now if you want to generate or no need to go back and front you just have to check then just check this uh, box the ones you want and you just generate all once I'm going to click and close now I'm going to go this is a story that we are in because we have the cyan dots on it already so then it has properties so if I click you can see we have beams 43 I'm going to column expand this you see we have 43 columns also so that is how to generate stories now uh, you don't know what you have done because this is 2d so I want to make it to be 3d so that we can see what we have done you know you can go to 3d view you can go to 3d view one side and also plan plus 3d view and you can also use this other one so let's just use 3d view so this is what we have done so far now you can play around with it by this is a animation play so you can just click on it you rotate let me move this a little bit away so you rotate you can see it's rotating so you can now view all your beams how it's being arranged and your columns is being arranged i can increase the speed by pulling this towards you see is increased i can maybe slow it down and it's too slow i can also rotate counterclockwise i can do a flight mode you see goes and it comes back turns you view whatsoever you want to view and all of that you can stop and you can play also then i'll just turn on this animation and go back to this my 2d view only and click on it then it comes up to 2d view now you can see the what we have done so far now let me just go back to 3d to show you what we have there so i'm going to click play so i'm going to make a flight I move this a little bit I'm going to make a flight let it move a little bit so yes this is what I want so let me just zoom in a little bit now from here to here is a little bit longer or higher than from here to here now it because this has our DPC because this point at this bottom let me zoom in to show you I'm zooming to show you what I'm trying to explain to you let me use this so this point has our foundation which is our pad whatever I want to put either strip or pad is here so plus our DPC which is 450 added to our 3100 is giving us this so that is why it looks a little bit longer than this top floor so this is our roof beams so and these are the first floor beams so let me go back to 2d space i'm going to turn off this go back to 2d space now you see this our icon here has disappeared you don't need to worry just right click on the empty space and zoom and just zoom in or you zoom out then it will just surface so this is it guys on how to create flaws on Orion do subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up if you like our video see you in our next video